Mr. Faust coming at you with another video. Today I received these they're called kinetic kinetic red flex T strippers from Ideal from Home Depot Seats. This is what they look like. They have a slide handle you can slide with your thumb. They pop open. They weigh about five ounces. <laughs> well, I don't know for sure, but they're really light. They have the holes here to break off your screws. They have a twist hole for your negative. And then if you look on there, can you see it? They have all your gauge wire holes for stripping. It has an end for the pliers end for twisting. Okay, I just wanted to go through it real quick what these pliers can do. Okay, so I have a box here. Alright, just set up. I got two ends here of 14 gauge wire, 14 2. So usually what I do is I strip them four to six inches usually is what I go. God, this knife is really dull. Alright, the Lennox you got to cock it halfway just to switch the blade out. Done. Okay, so we're going to strip the wire four to six inches. So I'm doing each end, I'm going to show you how you would connect the ends together. Of course you may have, you may have an outlet or you may have a switch, but just to get the idea of how the strippers work. Right, I'm going to strip both ends like they're coming out of the box. Take get all the insulation out. Four to six inches is usually what I do. Here's your box right here. You got your two leads coming in. One obviously hot, one obviously not. So then about, I don't know, a half inch, five eighths, you're going to find your 14 hole. Strip off the ends about a half inch back. On either side. See, make sure you're in the 14. For some reason, this one's giving me trouble. Okay, there you go. Now, hold on a second. Now, normally, you're going to have an outlet or a switch in here. I'm just going to go ahead and tie these together. I got a yellow wire nut tying these together. Okay. Say so it's just a junction box for a splice. Okay. Having a hard time here finding the slot. So you get the idea. Now the part I wanted to show you with these pliers, okay, my linemans have a big end on it so I can take my grounds. I always take my grounds and wrap them together. That way there if the wire does get pulled the grounds will secure the wires that they don't get pulled apart out of the box. 
also you uh, you want your gr a good ground but this right here has this real skinny end as you can see so you're not going to get you know much out of that so what you could do is lock the pliers okay take one end put it in one of the holes okay and then you got your other end in the cutoff hole okay and then you're going to twist these together like so like I said normally with my Lyman pliers I would just do it with the end and twist it but this works just as well with these pliers if, you, if these are the only pliers you have okay and then at the end you can just finish it off with your little end okay so there you go you got it so don't get all paranoid because you forgot your lineman pliers just use the little holes on these pliers lock it with your thumb okay and they're ready to go. These are nice for on the ladder or something. And you can just stick them in your pocket and they're not going to pull your pants down. Although a lot of the kids today like their pants pulled down. I don't know why. But I don't. So again, this is the Ideal Pliers. They're Kinetic. Kinetic Reflex T-Strippers. Professionals Preferred. Made in USA. Okay. See all that? They strip 6 to 14 gauge. They, uh, they're economical design to fit your hand. And what else we got here? Slide lock for safety and storage. Uh, it's got your thumb spot for your finger right here. And like I said there, Ergonomical, okay, ergonomical, <laughs> how do you say that word, <laughs> ergonomic, you got it, alright, so, again, they are comfortable, they're light, and I like them. Ideal pliers, stripping pliers. Klaus coming at you with another video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back at you shortly.